So uh, today we'll be checking out the Multimedia Marketplace Avalara Tax Manager for the Magento 2 platform based marketplace stores. And uh, basically this plugin lets the show owner to integrate their online stores with an automatic tax compliance system and can be used for global e-commerce and has uh, real time, for example, any changes in the government taxes policies are reflected directly within the uh, plugin itself. So the tax calibration for the transactions uh, across the tens of thousands of juridics jurisdictions all over the world and uh, so basically it uh, does that all in real time so here you can see that i'm at the checkout uh, page right now on the shopping cart and here the customer within the view and edit cart can check the applicable uh, tax as you can see it's 7.56 dollars and the same is then visible to the customers at the time of placing the order on the payment page as you can see under the order history they can also check their taxes that have been applicable on their particular order also uh, for accessing of the avalara uh, services the user can register themselves by creating an account with the, the avalara itself we have added the user guide within which you can check the details of how uh, you you'll be able to uh, create an avalara uh, test account how you can get the credentials that would be required for setting up this particular plugin from the admin backend panel so I'll just uh, add that link uh, within the description for uh, the user guide within which you can check the creation of the Avalara account, how a new uh, account mail can be uh, set up, how you can log in, how you can reset your password. Apart from that, you'll also be finding the details like how to add your company details, uh, how and where you collected your taxes, how to uh, add the selected regions, how to activate your company, and lastly, you'll be able to see how to generate the uh, credentials uh, for your Avalara itself that would be required in the backend configuration. Now after this, uh, after showing you this uh, particular how the Avalara tax works and it uh, displays the tax to the customers at the checkout time. Uh, now let's go to the admin backend panel and let's see how we can initially configure this thing up and thereafter we'll also be seeing how the vendors can uh, set up the Avalara tax for their products from their uh, account panels itself. and. Uh, before we proceed further, please do uh, subscribe to our channel and uh, uh, press the bell icon to receive the latest updates from uh, our end uh, for the latest features uh, for the open source uh, platforms for the e-commerce uh, sector. So uh, let's hop onto the admin backend panel and let's see how we can initially configure and set up the Avalara uh, for the marketplace itself. So I'm at the backend panel of my Magento 2 multi window marketplace or web store and I'll be logging into my admin backend panel by entering my username and password for the initial uh, configuration settings I uh, will be navigating through uh, stores and then configuration and here on the uh, configuration page we'll just scroll down to the sales section under that we'll just tap here on the uh, text uh, sub menu option and here under the web pool uh, have a lot of tax settings have a tax settings we have the different settings which we need to set up so we'll go through them each uh, of them one by one so the, the very first option that we have here for, is for the status and you can choose a yes or a no. So choosing a yes will enable or uh, choosing a no would uh, disable the status of this particular plugin or the feature. Then we have the mode. So the admin can set the mode uh, as per the production or development by just selecting any of them uh, from the drop down here. Production is for the live and development is for the test uh, servers, uh, test, test ones. Then we have the account number and this account number is provided by the Avalara after you have successfully created your account there. You'll have that uh, account number. Similarly, a license key connects your company's accounting software to the uh, Avatex. If you don't have the license uh, key, uh, you can uh, go to the settings, license and API keys to create a new one under your own uh, account uh, for the Avalara text. Then we have the company code. and. Uh, you can check your company details by logging into your Avalara tax dashboard and going to the settings and then company details and then you'll find your company code. Then you can choose uh, uh, the countries from uh, multi-select here as a result the tax will be applicable on those countries only. And further you just need to tap here in the uh, save config uh, button so as to save the configuration settings. And that will save your ad tax uh, using your production or the uh, testing uh, credentials and uh, you'll have set up your the same now uh, thereafter uh, the admin needs to navigate to marketplace uh, management and under that uh, 
uh, basically uh, let's go back to the marketplace management and under that we'll just go to the avalanche text and here we have the manage text classes and manage text class requests so uh, under let's see what are what different options are uh, under the both so we'll just open that up in uh, two different windows let's go to the manage text classes first so here the admin can find all of the tax classes created by himself and are visible to him under here and from here he can take the action to edit any of the created uh, tax uh, classes apart from that to create a new one he can tap here on the create new tax class button and that brings up the new product tax class section where he can set up the uh, class name as uh, test 45 for example and we can choose the avalara tax code uh, for that uh, particular so we just need to enter the uh, tax code for example i'll set it as food so we can choose depending upon the tax code that has been uh, shown up so here we have the food and ingredients appetizers so for this uh, class name we have the other tax code as food and let's tap here in the save text class and the class would be saved now apart from that uh, the admin can also uh, uh, what we say as uh, here we have our uh, new text class that we just created we can tap on that to edit that as well and here we can see the class name that we had set we can change that up as well and we can also change the avalara tax code that we had applied to the same here we have and we can also now change it uh, as per own requirement there we can enter the avalara tax code to search uh, for the particular tax code to apply to this particular class we can also delete a class by tapping here on the delete class otherwise to go back we can just tap here on the back to list after editing the product class that we've just created under the manage text classes that's under the marketplace management and under avalara text we have manage text classes now let's go to the manage text class requests and let's see what different uh, things are there so here we have the requested text classes and all of these text classes are the, the requests made by the marketplace sellers they can uh, choose their text classes and they can send them up for uh, the approval and from here the admin can uh, basically remove or disapprove or approve any of the requested text classes for example if, if you want to disapprove this particular uh, text class we can just tap here on the disapprove and the text class disapproved would be successful this particular functionality so this one the clothing test class uh, has been disapproved now and uh, okay now it has approved if uh, we want to disapprove this one or we want to uh, basically approve we can also approve a disapproved one and uh, we can also remove any of the uh, requests that are there i'll just tap here on the remove so that would remove that particular uh, tax class from the list so this is how uh, the admin can find the requested text classes and can approve them as per their requirement by having the options to approve disapprove or remove the requested text classes now let's see how uh, how we can implement the tax classes on the product so for that we'll just need navigate to our uh, catalog and then uh, products for the admin so uh, the implementation of the text class for the product can be done in a newly created product uh, that we're going to create or already created one by editing that up so let's see it for the uh, new product let's create a simple product and then we'll be adding a text class to it here we are on the new product uh, page and after entering the details we can go to the uh, text class section and here are the text classes uh, that have been uh, uh, there so this is test uh, 45 that the admin had created for the uh, food one for the avalara tax for the food we can choose that up and we can apply it to this particular product similarly this can be done to an already created product as well so that let me show you so we'll just go back to the product uh, list the product catalog section so for uh, example for this seller simulation let's edit this uh, product and then we'll be navigating to that uh, text class section the drop down for the uh, on the product edit page so here we are having our text class it's being assigned as food we can change it to test 45 as well tap save and we're done changing the text class with the particular uh, product so that's how we can implement uh, the uh, what we say as the text class on the products now let's see the uh, workflow at the windows end so uh, let's see how they can manage their tax classes and how they can send the approval for 
the or the or to say as for the uh, moderation of their text classes from the admin so uh, for that let's go to the uh, window and now okay the product has been saved with our new uh, Avalara text class that's the test uh, 45 now uh, right now I logged into my marketplace uh, where the account as you can see I have the marketplace block up the left hand side with the options here we have the managed text classes we have the text classes and the requested text uh, classes so under the text classes we can request a new uh, text class and we can find the already created text classes for our products and uh, to uh, request a new text class we can just tap here on the request new text class under the requested text classes the second option here we have the requested ones that we have requested so you can see that this uh, was visible in the backend as well the clothing test class and it's right now approved so uh, let's uh, request a new tax class so I'll go to tax classes request new tax class we can set it as uh, PPOLI this is just the demonstration and PUT2 and I'll just tap here in the submit request so you need to have the correct text class there so it's just for demonstration purposes I just entered that so here we have 2 poly that's approved right now if I go to the back end and I navigate to uh, manage tax class requests here we have 2 poly today this approved so we can approve and remove from this section as required by the admin and after the approval it would be removed from this section so if I uh, basically approve this requested text class by the uh, marketplace vendor and if we now go back to the vendor requested text classes and if I just refresh this once we can only see the ones that have uh, we can see all of all of the ones basically and can see these status as approved right now that this has been approved now let's see how the uh, marketplace window can uh, uh, what we say has implement the text classes for his product so he'll go to the new product or to have already created one so I'll just try and create a new product and then I'll be showing you how we can add the text class so after entering up the details of the product just go to the text class and here we can see all of the approved text classes okay so from here we can uh, choose any of the text classes for this particular product I'll just choose test 45 and uh, we can apply that up and let's see for the already created products I'll go to my product list let's edit this product and uh, on the product edit, edit page we'll just scroll down to the text section for this uh, product so here we have the text classes text test uh, 45 so we can choose it accordingly and we can save that up as required and in the end uh, can you note that uh, at a time only a single text class could be applied on a product that is a product can either have the text class applied from the magento or the one created by the admin himself so uh, that was much about the video and please do give it a thumbs up if you like the video and uh, if you have any questions queries suggestions or requirements then kindly reach back to us at support at the rate of webfield.com we will raise it to get that web and uh, thanks for watching this particular video and have a great day ahead